Thank you for joining me today, boys and girls, for Stories with Miss Debbie. Today, we're going to be reading Coffee and His Magic. I think you're going to really like this book. It is about a little boy named Coffee, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, who lives in West Africa. So, you may learn about some ways that you don't know anything about. So, I hope you enjoy it. Coffee and His Magic. My name is Coffee, and I am a magician. No, wait now. My name is Coffee. I live in West Africa, the most beautiful place in the whole world. And I am seven years old. And I am a magician. I live near the Ashanti Golden Stool, which everyone knows is pure magic. The stool is made of gold, and only the Ashanti king can sit on it. When he does, he becomes so powerful that everyone must obey his commands. That's magic. You may think I'm kidding when I say I'm a magician, but when I finish my story, I'm sure you will believe me. Okay, first, I am, as I said, coffee, which means I'm a boy born on Friday, and I am a weaver. I weave kente cloth, the most beautiful and richest cloth in the world. You may think I am not old enough to be a weaver, but I began learning years ago when I was young. I joined a class of boys learning to weave. The teacher tied threads to our toes, and then we would move our feet a little like riding a bicycle. Just a little. It was hard, but we had fun wiggling our toes, and I could make the threads behave. But that's not why I am a magician. My town is called Bonwire, and it is the most famous town in all the world for kente weaving. I don't tell everyone, but I can do a magic thing and make what I want to come true, come true. For example, I know Bonwire is the best town in the world, but sometimes I want to go to other places like the north where people live in houses different from ours and wear different clothes and speak differently and eat different foods. I also like to hear the names of their towns, Tamale, Sanyani, and Bogotana. So I sit down, close my eyes, and open my mind, and I am on a bus waving goodbye to my friends in Bonwire. Then suddenly, I am in the north. Up here, no one weaves kente, but they make other cloth. The boys wear hats made with horns and cowrie shells. If I wore a hat like that, I would feel very brave. When I first see the northern women painting their houses, I laugh because Ashante women don't do that. But then I see how beautiful the houses are when they are finished, and I think it would be magical to live in a painted house. The northern people like me. They give me a smock like a big shirt to wear and let me stand with their wise old men. When I'm ready to go home, I sit down, close my eyes, open my mind, and I'm back in Bonwire going to school. We carry our desks to ride on and stools to sit on because most of the time, classes are outside. During the rainy season, we go inside a building to study. Sometimes I get bored and have to use my magic. I sit down, close my eyes, and open my mind. And I am at a festival called Durbar. Every year at harvest time, the people celebrate Powerful chiefs, some of whom are women priests, and wise men put on their richest kente and gold, and they are carried through the streets on palaquins under beautiful umbrellas. Dancers and drummers fill the roads with singers singing, children shouting, and the thump thump of the drums. The noise is wonderful. There's delicious food to eat everywhere. I love the Durbar, but I do get tired, so I sit down, close my eyes, and open my mind. And I am back home in Bonwire with my friend Kojo, 
who doesn't laugh very much. I decide to share my magic with Kojo. I tell him we should go to the sea. And I say, sit down, close your eyes, open your mind. And I have to repeat myself many times, but at last we both sit down, close our eyes, and open our minds. And there we are at the lake, so wide and blue that we become afraid. But someone tells us that we are looking that what we are looking at is not a lake, but the Atlantic Ocean. It has a wonderful smell and a wonderful roar, like a soft roll of thunder in the raining season. And the water tastes salty. After a while, Kojo wants to go home. So we sit down, close our eyes, and open our minds. And we are back in Bonwire. I told you at first that I was a magician. Well, I have been thinking in my language, Ashante, and you have been hearing me in English. So I think you must be a magician too. If you ever want to meet me, just sit down, close your eyes, and open your mind, and think about a friend you have in West Africa named Coffee. Wow, that was a cool story. I hope you enjoyed it.